Hi, I'm Riggs Zanotti, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip from Relate. Today, we're going to learn how to do menu structures and branching within Captivate. And to show it, we've got some Hawaiian Islands. Now, here at the main menu, you notice we've got three different locations. We've got Waikiki, McKenna, and Kona Beach. Well, how do we get to the other beaches without going sequentially to them? We want to branch to each one. Well, we do that through transparent buttons in this case. You could also set up regular buttons. You could do other ways, hotspots, but in this case, I did a transparent button. I created the first one already, and I'll double click on it. And we set our border to zero and our transparency to 100% so you can't see the button. And we have a jump to slide, and we go to our first beach, which is Waikiki. Okay, we will say okay. Now, I need two more buttons. So what I'm going to do is control C this and control V it. So I've copied and pasted it. And now what I want to do is actually drag that button down here into McKenna. I'll double click on it. In this case, we want to go to McKenna Beach. We'll say OK. And we'll control V it one more time. And we'll drag that down. So now we have three buttons. This one is going to go to Kona Beach. OK, so we have our three buttons. Let me press F4 to preview this. And you're going to notice something interesting that Captivate does. Here's my main menu, if you will. I click on Waikiki, it goes to the first one. Then it goes to the second Waikiki slide. And uh oh, we're in McKenna now. Well, how'd that happen? Well, there's nothing stopping this from continuing forward. So we need to go to our first slide. Let's go to our second Waikiki slide. And we're going to insert another uh, standard object. We'll do a button again. This time, uh, we'll just do a regular button. We'll call it uh, just a text button. You can make this very pretty, have all sorts of image buttons and everything. And we'll say, in this case, that we want to uh, return. And return will actually take us back to oops, we'll jump to slide and it defaults to main menu. That's where we want to go back to. So when we get to the second Waikiki, we will be going back to the main menu. Now here's the button. Oops. Make it a little bit bigger. We'll drag it down to the corner. Drag it a little bit more. Make it bigger. And I will control C this button, go to the McKenna Beach, control V it, and do it one more time to the Kona Beach. Now let's press F4 to publish, or actually to preview again. And now we're going to have a very different behavior with Captivate. It's going to do what we want. If I click on McKenna, it takes us to McKenna, we return back to the main menu. If I click on Kona, we return, we're back at the main menu and so on. So we've created a menu structure with branching very easily. Let's go into our branching view up here. And you notice Captivate automatically creates our branching structure. So from our main menu, we go to the Waikiki beaches and there's two slides. The second slide has the return. Then we go to the McKenna and to the Kona beach and they all return back to the main menu. Well, that's how easy it is to create a branching and menu structure in Captivate. For Captivate Quick Tips, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you next time.